Okay, hello, 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 friends. Are you guys ready? Here we go. Mary's here, Kathy's here, Donna, oh my goodness, Sue, Chris, hello, Deb's here from Grass Valley, Bobby, Victoria, I just want to say everyone's name. <laughs> welcome, welcome, friends, to Friday Night Scrapbooking. Victoria, Bobby, Annette, Tina, Cheryl, Sh Sherry, <laughs> I got it. Um, Karen, all of you, everyone, welcome, welcome. Whether I caught your name or whether I didn't, I am just giving you a great big virtual hug tonight from Southern California and welcome to Friday Night Scrapbooking. All right, you guys, if you saw what's around me right now, I have albums upon albums upon albums with all these post-it notes because tonight we are going to talk about peekaboo pockets. And if you are new here, say hello and let me know that you're new. I always love hearing who's new and uh, just joining in for the first time because it's always fun to see uh, that, um, you know, new people are still finding Friday Night Scrapbooking. So welcome if you are new. Thanks for hopping on and checking out my channel or on Facebook, wherever you are. So welcome, welcome. Uh, if you're trying to find me other places, you know, one of the things I wanted to mention is, um, you know, I had to redo my intro because of this whole music thing. I won't go into all that, but um, I wanted to uh, make sure that you knew, like, really, there's two main places to follow me if you want to stay in the know. So I just kind of want to start off with this today. And that is um, on YouTube so that you always get notified when I have new videos and lives and things like that. Sometimes I'll post videos on YouTube that are not on Facebook. But then on Facebook, I usually that's where I do all my events and my promotions and you know, what's new and I, I usually post a few times a week. So if you like and follow my Facebook page, you will get notified of those things. So those are kind of the two main things. If you like uh, lots of close-up shots of my um, pages and things, then I would suggest also find me on Instagram at craft.sum.joy. So I just wanted to kind of make sure you knew about all those things. But tonight, as I mentioned, we are going to talk about Peekaboo pockets, you guys, I have so many ideas for you. So I hope you've got a lot of note paper ready. Um, but my plan is you're going to love using this video kind of as a resource for all the things you can do with peekaboo pockets. Because, you know, and I by no means have all the ideas, but hopefully I'll give you some new ones or just some ways to think about peekaboo pockets that might be a little different. Before we do that, though, I do want to talk a little bit about some news and what's new, starting with what is new coming Tuesday. So let's take a look.
right, guys? <laughs> so many good things coming. Oh, oh so from the there. All right. So there you have it. Okay. Um, did you catch it all? <laughs> there was a lot there. We have the new kind of Disney-ish princess and wizards uh, collections. I think those are so fun. I can't wait, you know, just to get my hands on them and dig in. A new promo. And because uh, we have Monday is the Memorial Day holiday, that uh, the the promo, all those new things will not launch until Tuesday. So just so you, you know, kind of make a mental note. Oh, yeah, we got to have a day off and have some fun on Monday. Maybe do a little scrapbooking. <laughs> but the new products won't be available uh, until noon central on Tuesday. So, um, yeah. And I love Annette's like, yes, peekaboo pockets are the bomb. I I agree. I agree, Annette. I do agree. <laughs> Okay. And welcome, welcome. And let's see, who did I see? Someone was new. I had a few newbies. So welcome. Let's see. Someone said they just, I, I missed it. Um, They were new here. Was it Ruth? Okay. <laughs> I lost it. Okay. Sorry. Uh, well, welcome. Thank you for saying hello and telling me you're new. It's always good to see you. And, you're, and, and, you know, if it's your first time, yay, you're caught alive. I know, it's kind of fun. So along with the news and what's new, I want to mention something that I have been working on behind the scenes that I'm so excited to share with you guys. And it is a brand new handout for you. Um, so what I've realized is, you know, from having a, an online shop, that um, one of the most requested things I've seen are the sketchbooks. I'm going to flip the page over so you don't have so much reflection. And uh, there's a lot of people who are like, Lauren, I don't know how to find, you know, all the border sketches and all this. And you know what? This is just things that I know how to do. So what I ended up, and actually Audrey helped me too, so I do have to say that. Um, so what I ended up doing is I went to the blog, the CM blog, and I created a handout for you with 120 sketches, uh, border sketches with, can you guys see that? With instructions. Yes. So a lot of copy and paste, a lot of copy and paste formatting, you know, all that stuff. But it is 50 pages. So we cut it off at 50 pages. So if it's front and back, like I did front and back, it's 25 pages um, sketchbook. And um, and then I just did a quick little binding on it. You can, if you want a printed copy, you can always get the free handout and then um, upload it to like Staples, Office Max, Office Supply, whatever, and have them print and bind it for you. So how do you get it? I'm glad you asked. It is actually, as I did say, it is free with my Scrap Some Joy shop purchase. So here's the thing I wanted to um, explain because it's a little tricky. When I want to give away a download, I have to figure, I had to figure out a way to do that and not just let anybody willy nilly grab the download and... <laughs> and have it. So it is a gift with purchase. And so what you need to do is uh, you go to my Scrap Some Joy shop. So I'm going to do, hold on, I'm going to have to get to the right screen. <laughs> Sorry, here. Um, you need to go to my website and I'll just take you through really quickly the process. Um, okay, so here, screen share. So here's my website. Ah, I don't know why it's doing that. That's kind of weird. Anyhow, it'll be fine. So we're going to go to shop and we're going to do scrap some joy shop. It's the first button. So you can see right here, I have um, a little announcement at the top that says, get the CM blog border guide, digital download with 120 border ideas and instructions free. I'm valuing this at, at $20, but you guys, it's, it's a deal. <laughs> But you get it free with 150 purchase. So what you're going to do 
is add it to your cart. But when you look at it, you're like, oh, Lauren, it's $50. Yes, I did that on purpose because I had to find a way to um, not just let anybody willy nilly download it. Okay, so I thought, oh, nobody's going to buy it for 50 bucks. <laughs> so, so you add it to your cart, right? And then you put in $150 worth of stuff. So let's just do that. So we um, add this to the cart. Okay, so I'm going to add that. And, and don't get freaked out. You're not going to end up paying $50 for it. Okay, <laughs> I'm just warning you. So then um, let's just go back. And just for fun sake, I'm going to just go to the new US of Yay bundle that I have in my shop. And I'm just going to order six of these. Okay. And then we're going to just see what happens. Because um, I don't even know, I'm not doing my math very well, what um, that's going to total, but hopefully it's over 150. So I'm going to go to my basket. Oh, that's $674. That's oh, because somehow there's 13 in here. Okay, let's just say five. Okay, there you go. So, do you guys see what happened? Um, in the cart now, so when you click the little basket button up here, uh, it takes you to the cart, and then um, you see, oh, there's my purchases, and there's that $50. I'm still worried. And then you go to checkout, and guess what? Bam! Just like that, you get an automatic discount. So I have it set up that my system knows if you have $150 in your basket, automatically you are going to get this coupon show up in your cart and you're going to get that $50 deducted right here. Okay. And it's automatic. And that gives me a quick and easy way. As soon as you place your order, you can... Um, get that download, get your hands on that download. Does that make sense? I hope that, I hope that makes sense. So it's a free thing. You don't have to worry about, um, you know, oh, a coupon code or blah, blah, blah. It's just, uh, easy to get your handout immediately with a purchase. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Okay. So, um, and I hope that you guys are going to love the idea of a book. So no, Belinda, it is not a hard copy. So it's the digital download. And um, like I mentioned, you can, let me see, I've got to switch, get that off. You can, um, so if we don't put, no, well, I mean, oh, I guess Yvette, really? You <laughs> $50. That's a between you and your pocketbook. <laughs> so, um, you, you know, yeah, I mean the, the sale will go through, but my, it's, it's part of how I do my gifting to you, right? Because if you're choosing to buy things in my shop and there's all kinds of things, there's retired products that maybe you don't have or bundles or deals or exclusive things like my layering shapes. And, you know, I'm always finding different fun things to put in there. So, um, think about what you might like um, and check out the shop, see if it works for you. And I am going to be running this for all the way till the end of June. And one of the reasons I had to come up with something, a promotion is because the Baked with Love is actually um, what I have in my shop is is the last of that. So I was giving that away as a free gift with a hundred dollar purchase but um, they, uh, the, I can no, I can no longer buy the embellishment, so that's kind of a limited supply. So I needed to come up with something fun. Um, so yeah, I I know, and I so that thank you, Jennifer. <laughs> Here's what I want to do. So if you, if you still have, so everybody right now, um, as of. Well, if, if you haven't received the notification from me that I shipped your package, that means it's still sitting in my shop. If you would like to switch, now some of you already added Baked with Love because it was a $100 purchase. If you'd like to switch um, and add a $50 purchase, just email me, lauren at craftsomejoy.com and let me know um, that you don't, that you want to get the download order guide, Okay. And um, if you, like Jennifer, if you just um, bought $80, uh, 
what I could do is, you know, email me and say, no, I'd rather, you know, spend 150 and get this as a free download. And um, we can, I can work with you on that, on how to take care of that. Does that make sense? It's not going to be a lot of people because I know there's not a lot of orders sitting in the shop right now, but just, just, just so you know, oh, and Yvette's laughing. She's like, yeah, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, I know. And so Annette, I'm just, I'm working through all my friends overseas, like how, because you can't shop in my shop. I, I, I'm still, it's still there. I'm still, Annette, I'm still thinking about it. <laughs> so my, my UK friends, my Aussie friends, my up North Canadian friends, I'm not quite sure um, how to do that for you other than digital downloads at the point, but, and, and stay tuned because I do actually have some classes coming up. So um, that's just what I wanted to share really quickly. Sorry, I don't want to take too much time talking about it, but check it out in the shop if you like. I also have one other little fun thing I want to tell you about in case um, you didn't see my last video that I put up on YouTube. I have a new sketch template, which I love. So this is only $1. <laughs> it's a $1 download, but you can download it and then print as many as you want. Now, here's what I wanted to mention. Sometimes I have a, a people who say, oh, Lauren, I love taking notes on your, you know, on your videos and what you say and, you know, different products you've used. Guess what you could use? You could actually use this. And if I do a layout or a border, you could sketch it. And then you could write here in notes, like what products I use, three hole punch it, stick it in a binder, and then um, you'll have your own little kind of video guide of different videos because my content is getting voluminous. Is that the word? <laughs> There's a lot. There's a lot of videos. And um, I know we're also thinking of how do we, how can we make that searchable, keep track? I mean, you can search on my channel, but just think about that too. That's kind of a free because what I used to do is this. I used to always have sketches like, you know, all over the place. And I thought, Lauren, why don't you just make yourself a template? So I'm sharing that with you. And it does have, do you see the little grid? So since we work in 12 by 12, those are one inch squares, right? So it makes things really easy for, oh, a four by six is four four squares up and six squares over or you know four squares across and six squares up whatever so everything you can really get a handle for what your page will look like with your sketch so just a couple things i wanted to share with you which is so exciting <laughs> thank you thank you debbie i love it i love the um sketch template and you know that way it, it it's part of Let's find one way of doing things so, you know, you don't have scatteredness all over the place and you can put it in a notebook and keep track of it where you need to keep track, right? That's the whole idea. Okay, so I'm going to switch over to my other camera and um, let's make, let's, let's hope this is, uh, this is turned the right way. Yes, it is. Okay, awesome. So, what we are going to talk about tonight, as, as I mentioned, I'm so thrilled. So I'm going to just zoom in a little bit here. And what we're going to talk about tonight is peekaboo pockets. And what's super duper exciting is the fact that we have two new peekaboo pocket sizes, right? These two. We have three by four and four by three. So it depends on how it opens. And then we also have four by four peekaboo pockets. And then of course our standard that we've had for a while are five by four by six and six by four, five by seven and seven by five, and then six by 12. So tonight I am going to show you basically how I've used all these different sizes. And before we used to only be able to get these smaller sizes, like in gift boxes, right? Like different things. And um, and uh, not gift box, secret boxes. Sorry, <laughs> that was what I wanted to um, share. So there we go. And when I got those peekaboo pockets, 
this is, I, I know my second question usually is, well, Lauren, where do you storm? Where do you, where do you put them? Cause we, you know, we love talking organizing too. So I have two five by seven boxes that sit in my cart. You guys know how much I love my cart. And one of them is called small peekaboo pockets. And one is called peekaboo pockets. So basically I know those are six by four. And I've had this one a long time because, uh, I had that before they had the small and then they came out with the small and then I'm like, I have to, I have to have those separated because sometimes I, I, these are the ones I use the most, the four by six, but then if I want the smaller ones, I just keep those in a separate box. Okay. And then where do you put the six by 12 and the five by seven? I keep those in the drawers behind me, which, um, you have probably seen. Uh, they're the 12 by 12 drawers from Michael's and I just keep my stash of larger peekaboos in there. So, <clears throat> ah, Chris, yes. Talking about secret boxes. So as far as I've heard, um, the new secret box is mid month, June. So I know June is kind of the last day of the quarter, but I don't know if there were some supply challenges or anything like that. But as far as I know, the next secret box will be launched in mid-June. So, um, you know, I just showed you the the beginning June uh, launch with the, <clears throat> excuse me, Princess and Wizard and um, all that good stuff. So mid-month will be two Mondays from this coming Monday. I'm not sure about the date. And yes, so there is a secret box coming. I have no idea what's in it, <laughs> but it is coming. Okay, so... Um, here, here are all those different sizes. I've talked about where to store them, where to keep them. I love keeping these, like I said, right in my cart. And you can see some of these sizes, like here's the new three by four, super fun, small size. And then the large peekaboo is, is, you know, really big. So let me just mention since we're talking about peekaboos now, some of you might go, oh yeah, I've, you know, used them a lot. I get it, um, but some of you might go, I've never used that. So um, one of the things that I think is fantastic about our peekaboo pockets is the adhesive. I mean, you can see just looking through, like it is so spot on clear, the adhesive strip. So you pull this strip off and that's the adhesive that you really just can't go wrong with um you know, what shows underneath. It's not going to be like a goopy line of adhesive or anything like that. It is so invisible when you put it down, which is one of the things I love about the peekaboo pockets. And there are some tricks on some of these different sizes, and I'll be talking about them as I kind of go through different examples. Um, okay, <laughs> Sandy said, how did you know I have scatteredness? <laughs> Is that, that I like that word. <laughs> okay. Um, so that's the peekaboo pocket. Now, when these originally came out, who would, who would agree with me? Like it really did change the way I scrapbook. Who would agree? Would you, would you agree with that? I finally started looking at my layouts. Like it really doesn't matter how many photos I have for a two-page spread, because instead of making two two-page spreads, I can make one two-page spread and use peekaboo pockets. Or if I have a photo that maybe doesn't quite match all the other photos, I can stick it underneath the peekaboo pocket and still have it as part of my layout or part of my story. And, um, and, and, it doesn't kind of detract is, is the word I'd say. It doesn't detract from the layout that I have, right? So I'm going to give you examples of exactly what I'm talking about um, in when we get into this. But okay, I'm going to just zoom in a little bit more for you. So one of the first things I want to talk about, yes, right? So Ingrid said yes, love them. Mary says yes. Gwen, yeah. I, I mean, it does, it, it really did revolutionize. So one of the first things I want to um, talk about is not just, um, you know, our standard use of peekaboo pockets. So when I first saw them, I thought, oh, good. I can, I don't have to be limited by the number of photos I put on a page. 
but I can, um, you know, instead really just choose whatever photos I need. And if I need extra room, I can add that with the peekaboo pocket. And then I also spend a lot of time when they first came out, like putting my journaling on the flip side or underneath those peekaboo pockets. And then I started playing around with them, right? I mean, like, <laughs> that's, that's the thing. When you start playing around, you're like, oh, so many doors have opened up. So one of the first uh, layouts I want to share with you is, is one of my newest ones. And, oh, I got to move that just a little bit out of the way. Okay. <laughs> one of my newest ones, which I do have a video here on YouTube um, that goes through the entire process of how I put this layout together. And um, what, I, what I realized when I was looking at the stack of photos for this layout is that, oh, I had a lot. I had 12 photos. 12 or 13, I can't remember, 12, um, a lot of photos, but this was such a special day. I did not want to uh, skimp on, you know, only putting a few in. And I also really wanted to play with the layout because we got these beautiful new collections called the Scenes Collections, and they work beautifully with uh, Serene Waters. And I just wanted to have some fun with layering and colors and texture and pattern. So what I wanted, what I did on this layout is I said, okay, six by 12 peekaboo pockets. That's a lot of real estate because if I, especially when you do it across a two page spread. So these are two six by 12 peekaboo pockets. So you get six by 12 inches here, six by 12 inches here, six by 12 inches here. That's already a 12 page 12 by 12 page. You also get what's underneath here and then you get the same, right? So what I ended up doing was having some fun with my layout and then I had all this space to tell my story with the photos. So you can see exactly I have plenty of room for my story, my journaling. I have room for more pictures from different parts of the day. And you can see that, yeah, these photos, you know, they're dark and they're by the campfire. That has a very different feel to it than these that have the ocean and during the day. But it goes together because these oceany pictures are on the front and then you flip it up and now you see, you know, different parts of the day from underneath. So that's just kind of a, a a quick overview of six by 12. And so I'm going to kind of um, call out what sizes I use. And then also I want to share some of uh, the, I had comments from people who said, well, how do you put those on? Peekaboo pockets are going to be adhered to your pages, depending on the kind of page you work with. They are very easy to work with with a 12 by 12 pocket page because these pages are just a smidge bigger than a standard uh, scrapbook page. So when I adhere this peekaboo pocket down, you can see the edge right here. Do you see the edge is right there along the jeeping? And the other edge is right there at the edge of the page. So there's no overlap, there's no um, extra, it fits perfectly, okay? And the same thing if you go vertically. So remember, whenever you're working with peekaboo pockets, you can go horizontally or you can go vertically. So here is an example of how I used the six by 12 peekaboo pocket vertically. Same thing on a 12 by 12 pocket page. And you can see once again, this one goes, let me scoot it over a smidge. This one goes all the way from the bottom of the page right down here to the top of the page up here. Now, when I, use, when I show you how these work in a, on a scrapbook page, I'm going to point out the difference. Okay, but I've got things kind of in order, so I'm not going to jump there right now. I just kind of want to show you how this works. So... In a, on a 12 by 12 pocket page. So these are the pages where, you know, you slide in the, the sheet from the top. Okay, it's just one large pocket. And then you can see here's where I have the um, 
adhesive strip is right here, and then that's just a flap. Now, one of my favorite things to do, you're going to see this over and over in my books, is add little tabs, right? So tabs are awesome because it kind of tells you, oh, there's something more. This one says lift this and, uh, you know, it gives you something to grab onto and, and open and pull up. So here is, uh, once again, my son's birthday party and typically... When I used to scrapbook birthday parties, I'd have two or three or some, you know, sometimes even four double page spreads of birthday parties. And I was able to get it all on a two page spread with Adam's birthday party because of this giant six by 12 peekaboo pocket. So look at that. I put three photos underneath that. And then I also did a cluster here. And guess what? I put another peekaboo pocket because I still had a couple more photos that I wanted to add to this layout and a little bit of journaling. So already, you know, I've added three extra photos, two extra photos in this cluster, three extra photos here and the ones underneath it. So four and five. So six, seven, seven photos just because of this peekaboo pocket setup on the page. Okay, so hopefully that's starting to go, oh, wow, I can do a lot. I, I can, and I'm sorry for the glare. It's just, we're working with plastic, so <laughs> I will try my best to help with the glare. Okay, so yeah, this I, I did say where I put my six by 12 peekaboo pockets are in the 12 by 12 drawers that you can get at Michael's. Uh, they're the recollections drawers, the clear ones. And uh, remind me and I'll show you behind me in, on, in my cubbies behind me. So I just keep them in a really narrow little drawer and I keep them there because they are long. You know, you could also just keep them in a packet like on the side of your of the top of your cart. That would work too. Okay, so um, okay, so now Deb's got to try. I guess you're gonna try <laughs> something new. Did I spark a spark something? <laughs> okay, I'm glad. All right, and Cindy's here. Welcome, Cindy. Okay, so there's the um, the two <laughs> horizontal format peekaboo pockets. And then we're going to have a lot more examples of layering peekaboo pockets uh, with each other in different ways. And some of these you might have seen before, but I think some others might be new. My goal, like I mentioned, is to have one place, like one video, uh, a comprehensive video that you can go, okay, if I want to know how to use peekaboo pocket, this is it. So it's really, tonight is really about show and tell. Okay, I want to also just mention here, and I forgot to uh, mark the page, uh, that um, peekaboo pockets can not just be used with 12 by 12 pocket sleeves or um, scrapbook pages, but they can also be used, as you know, if you've taken any of my classes, they can be used with multi-pocket pages. So don't forget, you can use peekaboo pockets with multi-pockets. So this is like one of my layouts. Um, this was a kind of everyday moments layout that I did for April. And let me just show you how many peekaboo pockets I have on this one <laughs> layout. So I have my title and then I have this one. And underneath here is a peek. So this is a peekaboo pocket on a multi-pocket. And once again, you can see how clear that adhesive is. You can just look right through it, but the adhesive is right here. So I have more pictures and I have a story underneath this. I also have one of our new little sizes over here, which is a half size peekaboo pocket on a four by six sleeve, right? So these are all four by six. So isn't that fun where you can do a little half pocket on a smaller size on a four by six. Then I have over here, I have two more peekaboo pockets. This was a very busy month, April was. So I needed to say a lot <laughs> and, and I needed extra space. So that's the key. Whenever you need extra space, 
grab a peekaboo pocket. So you can see I have here this, it's kind of telling a little bit of the story about why I took these pictures. And then this one is, uh, this was the month where we transitioned from our old setup to our new kitchen. And so this one I have, I'm gonna open this so it's a little easier to see. I have one peekaboo pocket here, but guess what? I have another peekaboo pocket here. So again, this flow of open and open. And again, because I could have put this picture here and here, maybe I could have shrunk the picture down, but I really wanted to remember how we lived. This was how we had to live before we moved into our new kitchen. And I wanted to tell the story about that. So once again, I, I didn't need a whole nother four by six. So I just took a four by four. This is a four by four, put it on top. And then now there's a four by six that flips down on top of that. Okay. So don't forget about all of our different pages, all the different CM pages, the multi pocket, the 12 by 12 pocket, and the traditional scrapbook page all can be used with our peekaboo pockets. Okay, I am actually going to be sharing this album hopefully this weekend in the virtual crop group. So I'm not going to give away all my secrets, but this is my 2022 book. And so if you want to see more of that, uh, you know, check out the virtual crop this weekend. We're doing completed album share there. Remember, that's this weekend. Okay, so let's move on. And um, I have a list of notes of all these different kinds of peekaboos I want to share with you. But what I decided to do was just grab different albums, like I mentioned, and then talk through how uh, I used peekaboo pockets in different places. So if you're taking notes, like another note of how to use peekaboo pockets would be to add, um, let's see, what did I put in here? Create shaker pieces, create shaker pieces to go inside the pocket. So I don't know if you guys could see those move around. Let me just see if I can jiggle those around a little bit. But these are the punch cutouts from a border punch and different pieces. And I just stuck those in this title card right here so that it kind of gives a dimension and a little bit of a, a shaker feel. Now these are open. If you really don't want things falling out, then you know you do have to create some uh, way of adhering that down. <laughs> you can see they're wanting to come up now. Um, but it's kind of fun, I think, to have these little miscellaneous pieces. And then the idea was bring that same uh, decoration over here uh, to continue those shells. I just need to um, make one quick, well, what would I do with my notes? Ah, oh, here. Okay. Hold on. All right. Okay, so this is uh, shaker pieces. I had that note there. The other thing uh, I think peekaboo pockets are really excellent for is memorabilia. So I have a lot of different um, places that I've used peekaboo pockets to tuck in memorabilia, especially large memorabilia, right? So like these are, this was a, a long time ago trip, right? You guys, we had printable tickets. <laughs> <laughs> so I tucked those in because you know what? We probably don't see those much anymore. Uh, and so I, I decided to tuck those behind. Yes, you could add them to a pocket to the end. But, you know, again, it's always nice to have that little extra room behind your peekaboo pocket. And this one was uh, I, I wanted uh, to do a big title, like a theme title, because in this book, my original page, this is two different trips. My original title page had this kind of circle feature. And so when I started the new trip, I wanted that same kind of feel um, to come across, but I didn't have a whole page that I wanted to devote to that. So once again, peekaboo pockets worked out perfectly because then I could do this really fun title element, still have room for the 
memorabilia, and then even under that, room for photos. So again, that triple layer of being able to use the space in your scrapbook. I, I just love that part. Okay, I have another post-it back here. If you saw last week, right? You saw this album and I talked about how to use peekaboo pockets with vellum. And that was one of my favorite things of how to use vellum is that you kind of get to use a peekaboo pocket in a different way, right? As more of a title and enhancement to your page instead of necessarily adding photos. So this is just a way, a decorative element, a way of using peekaboo pockets to decorate and to enhance your layout. And then this was another uh, peekaboo pocket I showed where I actually, same idea with the vellum, I just wrote on, on the vellum and put that in a peekaboo pocket. So it gives you that feeling of, ooh, I do wanna lift that up and see what's under there. Oh, another snorkeling photo, okay. <laughs> so the peekaboo pocket just gives kind of a different um, look when you use it with vellum. So don't forget, I know I talked about that last week, but uh, just to remind you, have it all in one place, right? Okay, so um, Debbie has a question. Um, okay, oh, there's a couple questions. So uh, what size did you use for your strips on the side of the pocket page? Oh yeah, okay. So um, that was in, what you have to do is just measure that little distance uh, and then create a slit with your X-Acto knife. I want to say it's somewhere like five eighths or something like that. But usually what I do is just um, measure, I think, let me just grab that book. I just measure um, because sometimes pages are a little bit different. Let's see here. And uh, you can see, so this is where that little slit is. And then I just slide the paper in there. Sometimes I'll do two papers because I want this side to be different, but uh, it changes. Like one side, I think this side is a little bit smidge wider than this side. So usually I just kind of, um, you know, I eyeball it, make a pencil mark and cut it to fit. But I couldn't tell you exact measurements right now. Okay, and Deb has... Um, did you do that two peekaboos over four by six? Are they just three by fours? Okay, wait. How did I do the two peekaboos over the four by six? Are they just three by fours? Okay. <laughs> Hold on. I think you're talking about, let me go back. Was that the Audrey picture at Disneyland? This one? Um, let me go back. So this one? I think is the one you're talking about. So this one, let me get my ruler. Hold on, because um, this one, yeah, this is, oh yeah, this is a four. This might be one of those itty bittier ones. You could do a three by four, right? That's our new size, the three by four. That's this one right here three by four. So if you were to do it, I'd probably do the one with the adhesive on the long side and just put it right here and then you can flip it. This I think was actually one of the, like a two and a half by three and a half, Deb, I think is this one from one of the old secret boxes. Okay. Yeah. So I think that's why this looks a little smaller in this area, but you could do the same effect with our new three by fours. Okay. So, it, but like I said, or I mean, you could, you could flip it up too. You could flip it up or flip it out. <laughs> you know, remember, depending on where that adhesive is, it can flip all these different ways. Right. So, and uh, this is, since it is three, it's going to be half of a four by six. Okay. So hopefully, uh-huh. Okay, you are welcome. So let's see. Um, well, triple triple layer. Okay, peekaboo. I have a photo month of a month particular bit of local scenery. Oh yes, I'm gonna get to scenery um, scenery use in just a minute, Melanie, because scenery uses is actually a, a great 
use for peekaboo pockets when you take a lot of scenery pictures. So I'm going to show you some travel albums where I've done that. Okay, here's another sample. And um, on this one, what I want to, and this is, again, I've shared before. Uh, this was a Scrap With Me video. One of my favorite things to do is not to is to think well is to think outside the box when you have a certain size so we have five by seven so if you want to know what do i do with five by sevens we have five by seven peekaboo pockets but if you put two five by seven peekaboo pockets together you can create a seven by seven square okay so let me just show you that's seven right? By seven. Because I decided to print this photo two times. And the first time I um, zoomed in on the right hand side of the photo. And then the second time I zoomed in on the left hand side. But then it also gave me a chance to talk about um, uh, or to have a little space here to talk about the canyon. This was Bryce Canyon. So Together, it looks like one continuous picture, but really there's surprise underneath because not only do I have this beautiful larger format, you know, seven by seven, but now I have this really fun interactive way of looking at the photos underneath. So I have this side and this side underneath the five by seven peekaboo pockets to um, work with and do journaling. So one of the things I want to point out about this particular use of peekaboo pockets is once again, I have this in a 12 by 12 pocket, but in order to make this work, I had to slit the page, the, the protector. So I, I cut from here to here and then I put the page in and then, um, it works best if you don't have anything in your peekaboo pocket so that it's very flimsy and, you know, pliable like this. And then you just take that and once the page is in, feed it through that slit. So then you have the page on the top, the peekaboo pocket on the top. And it's, you know, again, nothing in it. So it's very pliable. And then you can add your photos. Okay. So tips and techniques on how to use these. That's how I got a seven or five by two, five by sevens. So these are actually adhered underneath the page. So if you can see, I can slip my finger right under here. Let's see if I can get really close for you guys. Can you see? I can slip my finger right under here and that slit goes right down. And then I can put that page on top. The peekaboo pocket. I keep saying page, but it's actually the peekaboo pocket on top. Okay. So, good. And Julie's like, oh, I like that idea. Okay. <laughs> the seven by seven format. Yeah. So try that with some of your travel pictures, Donna. That would be awesome. I think it looks really awesome with travel pictures. Now, one other thing I'm going to point out on this page for travel is Sometimes like I did with the vellum, right? You saw me do with vellum. You could do the same thing with laser borders. So again, this is just purely decorative. And if you are, you're like, I don't have money to be adding decorative elements with peekaboo pockets, that's totally fine. But um, just something fun and different that you can do is add laser mats into here. And so it kind of gives this neat frame uh, in front of the photo, but then once again, you can just flip it and get a better look at the photo underneath. Okay, so those were a few uh, tips and tricks uh, with peekaboo pockets, and I'm going to share one more that I did on this trip. Um, <clears throat> Angie has a question, how do I attach the peekaboo pocket? So hopefully I answered that. These are attached to the actual page, and then cut the slit. Okay, so also on this trip, I did a layout here, which has um, once again taking 
different format photos and then creating a way to tell a story um, with a larger picture with it. Okay, this is, <laughs> what do you mean, Lauren? <laughs> doesn't make any sense. <laughs> okay, so what I did on this photo, this again, you know, travel photos are usually just so fun to work with because we have a lot of them and we have, um, you know, we want to do some fun and different things with them. So once again, this is a five by seven peekaboo hot pocket horizontal format. It has the adhesive, it has the adhesive on the top. Okay. So I wanted to open this and kind of go, wow. So what I did is I took a, um, eight by 10, right? So eight by 10 means that I'm going to cut one inch off the side, but I have 10 inches because it's five by seven plus five by seven equals 10 inches. And then eight would have gone over to here, but I only have seven. So I'm just going to cut one inch off that eight by 10 photo. And now I've put part of it in the top and part on the bottom. And isn't that fun? I love it. It's like, oh my gosh, look at it. I've got this enormous photo kind of as a surprise on the page. Now to kind of create a layout that helped that five by seven format, I took two four by six photos and put those so that they had a little fold fold over element, right? So one is underneath, one is on top. But when I stuck them down, I wanted them to line up with the edges of the five by seven. So what I did is I treated the underneath photo, the edge here, kind of as a little decorative element. And then that top picture just folds right over. But it gives you an idea like, oh, there's something under there. Plus, you know, I added a little sticker here too to turn. So then I had another place for a photo and then another photo and then some journaling on this page. Okay, so this kind of lets you know how to get the peekaboo pockets down. So on this one, if you can see that peekaboo pocket, see that adhesive strip right there? So it's under this photo. And then I put the photo down. So this would be the same kind of idea where I would slip this in to my page protector, my 12 by 12 pocket, okay? And then what I have to do to set up this um, flip up and flip out is typically what I do is I get like a dry erase marker and then, um, or something, you know, usually things don't, um, just not a permanent, you don't wanna use a permanent marker. And then just make a little dot here and a little dot here, and then take a ruler and draw a line and then use your exacto. You know, take this back out and then use an exacto to create that slit. Take the photos out. Keep that peekaboo pocket pliable. You know, gently pull it through that slit and then um, insert your photos again. Same thing here. I'd make a little dot right here, a little dot right here. Same here, dot, dot, take my ruler, connect the dots, use the exacto, make a slice, take the photos out, feed my pe uh, peekaboo pockets through while they're nice and pliable, and then put the photos back in. Because right now I can't get to them, right? Because they're tucked in the pocket. So that way you're going to end up with this kind of a format where, and that's exactly what I did to these two. You can see these are stuck onto the page this one, so I created a slit in the in the um, pocket page here for this one, and another slit here for this one. So these are actually stuck down to the page. Now you might go, Lauren, how come I have to go through all this extra set of slits and all this? You don't have to. Another option is to stick the page the peekaboo pocket on top of your page 
on top of either your pocket page or your page protector. And I'm going to show you examples of that too. Okay. So, uh, and I'll show you, so I'll show you the difference. What I like about this technique is the fact that those peekaboo pockets are stuck to the page. So you don't have kind of this floppiness that happens when they are stuck to the top, especially with a peekaboo pocket. Okay. Um, yeah. All right. So I know I have some questions, but let me get the, uh, the next album set up and we're going to do some more travel. And then uh, let me see what questions you have. So, oh, I just answered. So Ruth said, why do you need to slit the plastic instead of mounting it on top? Let me, let me just show you the difference of what happens. Um, whoops, where did it go? Oh, here. Okay. I have it here. Let me grab. Peekaboo pockets are, and, and there, and I will show you plenty of examples of peekaboo pockets stuck to the top. Okay. I mean, I've got plenty of examples of that, but here is, here's a peekaboo pocket. It's stuck to the top of the page protector. No problem. When it's one and it's just kind of sitting in the center, what I have found personally, if it's sitting in the center of a 12 by 12 pocket, there's not a problem. But if you tend to put, if you want to put it towards the top or you have larger peekaboo pockets, like more than just one, what happens, What like this one, I didn't want down here. I wanted it at the top. But what happens is that it pulls on this page protector. And you can kind of see, I don't know if I can, but do you see that? That's what happens. Okay, because that page protect, that peekaboo pocket, once you put your stuff in there, if it's too close to the top, every time you open it, it's going to do that. Because there, there's no, there's nothing that this is holding onto underneath. That's why I prefer to put the slit personally, but you can absolutely, as I've done here, put them on top. Okay, so hopefully that gives you a little um, idea of choices for you, right? Always have choices. Do what works best for you. I always say that. Well, you know, whatever works for you should be what you do. <laughs> okay. Um, let's move on to some more travel photos. And then I'm going to go back to some family photos. So these are, um, okay. <laughs> Julie's like, you've taken peekaboos to another level. Um, okay. So hopefully Carrie and Ruth, I just answered that question, but I'm going to show you plenty of ways to put them on top as well. Okay. So for this album, what I wanted to point out on this page is that once again, you don't always have to put peekaboo pockets one directly on top of the other. On this one, I attached the peekaboo pocket. So, and, and let's make a note here. I am back on traditional scrapbook pages. Okay. No more 12 by 12 pockets. I am on traditional scrapbook pages. Um, so, on traditional scrapbook pages, typically what I would find I would do is actually add them to the outside edge or to the inside edge and then let them flip over. And that's just an easy way that those, the adhesive is now attached to my page, right? The adhesive is attached to my page. It's actually under this paper here on the edge and um, it keeps that secure. Once again, when I open this, it's not going to be pulling open this page protector. If it were on top of here, every time I opened that, I'd kind of be pulling on that page protector. But this is attached to my page and then flipped over. So how do you get the page protector on? You just open up your peek, you put your peekaboo pocket down, open it up like this, Get your page protector. In fact, I'll just pull this off. Right? Just like that. And then you're just going to slide it back on. So you're going to keep this open. 
slide it on. When it's open, slide, slide, slide. Keep sliding until you get it over all the things. Slide it back on. And then once it's all the way on, you can flip that over. Okay, so that is kind of when I work on traditional pages, one of the easiest ways I like to add peekaboo pockets to my my scrapbook page. But let's look at some other examples. Okay. Again, inside edge. So that was an outside edge. Here's an inside edge. And always depends on where your adhesive is on your peekaboo pocket, right? So this one is just attached once again under the page protector. It keeps everything nice and sturdy on my page. And then I decided to do a title on the outside because and a little tab here, you know, a little open me tab um, so that I can see what's underneath. And having that title kind of peek out from under the peekaboo pocket uh, gives you even this larger format to work with. Okay, so <laughs> yeah, peaky, the peekaboo pocket. Yes, <laughs> Annette. Okay, so I will have to put. I will have to put on top. Lori says, my husband doesn't trust me with an exact amount. <laughs> Lori, you're funny. Okay. Well, maybe you can get a small child to help you with that, right? Because they can do anything. <laughs> All right. So here's um, here's that peekaboo pocket with a title peeking out here. Okay. This was one of my favorite ways of using peekaboo pockets. And I know I have this in my um, fun and clever uh, video, but still it deserves to be shown once again in our peekaboo pocket bonanza video, our, our peaky <laughs> bonanza. And that is the accordion flip out, right? So this is a way of, once again, if you have kind of a series of photos. So for me, I absolutely love the series of photos of my boys when we were walking around the geysers at Yellowstone. And they were just like, oh man, it stinks. I can't stand it. You know, all these pictures. Each one is just kind of a little different, like laughing and then going, oh man, this is so smelly and then walking and how, what a better way to do that than just have this kind of fun interactive element to, uh, to this whole layout. So these are put together and then I also have a place for my journaling. So these are put together. Once again, you have to plan this out, right? So you have to take your peekaboo pockets and go, um, so these are all going to be short side adhesive, right? And you're going to go and grab these guys and go, okay, so let's see. If I want this to be here, okay, I want this to, where's the adhesive? It's on this side. The adhesive is always on the side opposite. <laughs> should know this opposite the opening right the adhesive strip the pull strip is on the side opposite of the opening <clears throat> good to know okay so this one the adhesive is here on this side so I would place this here the next one so again these are all short side uh, adhesive the next one I'm actually going to keep the adhesive strip open right so just like that. So this one, this adhesive is going to stick to the back of this one. And now this adhesive is going to go to your next pocket. And again, okay, adhesive there. So this is going to tuck under. This is what's attached to my page. And then this is just going to stick down to the top of that peekaboo pocket. Now I know that's really hard to see because we are using clear and we've got lights and reflections, but hopefully that made sense. So peekaboo pocket adhesive on this side here. Okay. Next peekaboo pocket adhesive here. 
third peekaboo pocket adhesive folded under and it stuck down to my page. And then you just fold it in place. I added a sticker and then on the back side, I just added some paper and stuck that down. So it makes a fun little element. Okay. And uh, yeah, Sherry says her Christmas album is full of peekaboo. Yeah. My December daily class, I use a lot of peekaboo pockets too. I love that. Love it. Okay. Um, once again, we had some cute little itty bitty ones. Don't forget to throw those in. If you're like, I have no idea what to do with them. The um, happy album way back when had some fun little titles and <clears throat> I just use this as a design element. So I put a tiny little peekaboo pocket right here, just as a fun little design element, just something different to add to this page. Nothing, you know, as far as adding lots of extra pictures or anything like that, but you can also use, just use it as a design element. Okay, so let's move on and go to um, my Baltic Cruise album. And I do have a few in here. Once again, some of these may be um, what I've shared before, but just once again, I want to share, share them again. So once I got more comfortable with how to use peekaboo pockets, I kind of got out of my bubble of just always putting a peekaboo pocket on top of a four by four. And I thought, no, you know what? It's kind of fun to, if I have a horizontal, if I have a vertical picture, well, I'm just going to put a horizontal peekaboo over it. And it's okay because like something like this that has scenery or, you know, green or whatever, it, it doesn't distract necessarily from the photo that's on top of it. So I just wanted to share this one as a way of reminding you that vertical doesn't always have to be with vertical. Ver horizontal doesn't always have to be with horizontal, right? You can switch, switch it up. You can put a vertical picture and a horizontal peekaboo. No problem. Try it. It's fun. This one also shows you can put a sticker on the top of a peekaboo pocket. Why not? <laughs> this one says, enjoy the little things, right? Why not? You know how I love those little strips of typewriter sayings. Oh yeah, put those everywhere. <laughs> okay, so there's, um, that's another uh, peekaboo pocket I wanted to share. This one is perhaps one of my favorites. <laughs> I don't know. I like the accordion. This is what I call the waterfall. And this uses one, two, three, four peekaboo pockets all on the same page. And this was kind of a, a fun idea that I was just trying out looking at ways that I could use also not just a, a small portion of my page to layer photos on top of photos on top of photos, but also to give some design elements to the page. So I'm going to zoom in here so you can kind of see a little bit closer exactly kind of how I did this. So these peekaboo pockets, this is a punch that I left intentionally uh, clear through the peekaboo pocket. And so then the photo is underneath that. Okay, so do you see? So the punch is down here. Then I took another pattern. This is all the travel log collection. I loved this collection, it's gone, but it's beautiful. Um, and then the next layer, again, I just took that little end piece here and then I put the photo on top. Once again, then this one is just a full four by six, but it didn't have, it, it just had its own texture on the bottom of this photo. So I left it, but I stuck a sticker on it so you could see that sticker. And this one was like a little stamped edge. And so that was on the bottom. So instead of just putting a whole four by six in here, I just trimmed off a little bit and then added this decorative element just so each edge on this waterfall just had something fun to it. Okay, so let's take a look 
what that looks like um, opened up, right? So now I have the top picture, I have journaling underneath, and I have another photo. And just remember, when you do a waterfall, you know, I, I chose about an inch separation on each of these. So underneath, you're going to have to put some kind of, you know, you, whatever's underneath will show through. So you have to do some planning to do this. See, I have that same paper. So I just took a strip. Actually, I'll show it to you. So here, this is a uh, mat pack card, but it goes underneath the whole thing. And then just the top of it ends up right here. Okay, so once again, picture, picture. So many fun memories of this park that we found. And then another photo and then the bottom photo. Okay, so now we've got room for all these photos on a two page spread and doing a waterfall plus adding some texture and uh, dimension to these different ends that you're seeing on the end. Okay. Um, and is the waterfall on top? Yes, great question, Belinda. Yes, it is on top. Okay, so this one, again, showing you, you can do a lot of different techniques, right? But yes, this one is on top. So you can see all those are stuck to the top. And that actually is the reason I decided to do it on the inside is so that it had more structure on the inside of this page rather than on the outside. Just kind of keeps everything tucked in. Okay. And Rosalind, yeah, I have not tried that. Has anybody tried Rosalind's idea of using magnets under peekaboo pockets to keep the um, flaps from flapping? You'd have to, um, I think the main thing would be you'd need to find a really thin, thin, thin <laughs> um, magnet for that. But I think that'd be fun to try. Yes. <laughs> okay. So, um, yes, I know. I'm such a rebel, right? Horizontal and vertical. Do it together. <laughs> okay. Oh, Mona, you cracked me up. All right. So, um, the waterfall is on top. I think I got all those questions then. And Cinda is here. Welcome, Cinda. Okay. Uh, one more. And, you know, remember, you can always watch these on replay, friends. So I know sometimes you have to come and go because these can tend to be a little lengthy in my Friday Night Lives, uh, especially this one, because I still have, I think, three albums to go through. Um, but we're, we're working through it. So this one I wanted to share again. I know it's just another idea of some similar techniques that I've talked about. So this one is, again, you taking up more space with photos from the same place. But this is what I thought was so fun. I was taking a picture of this fountain. And you guys, you all have this, right? And then my son comes in, ta-da! <laughs> and does the fun little, like, I'm going to jump in the photo, right? Like, Ta -da, I'm in there. So it's kind of fun to see, you know, I'm trying to take the scenery shot. And then of course, here's the photo bomb, right? Which is a great place to put your photo, you know, to again, kind of flap and tell stories. Sure so once again, these are all like the fountain area. And I was able to use the two different peekaboo pockets. So this one is attached to the page this one I had on top of the page protector and it kept doing that pull thing on the page protector. So I ended up just creating that little slice, take my photos out, tuck the pay, tuck the peekaboo pocket through, put my photos back in. It's really not that hard, but that way, you know, this one is very secure because this is now attached to the page. And then it also gave me a little space for um, some memorabilia underneath. These are just some other little, you know, just think of all the different things you can use for tabs. Oh, here's another photo bomb. That was fun. <laughs> I love looking back at those pictures. Um, so these are stickers. You could use stickers. You could use die punches. You could use paper, you know, punch, square, circle punches, whatever you have. Use those as um, different ways you can kind of indicate that you have a peekaboo pocket. Okay, so... That's just a couple I wanted to share from this album. 
And then um, I do have one more travel album. <laughs> and then we'll come back to um, some family pictures. But, okay, remember we were talking earlier about what do you do with all those, like, you know, 15 photos of, of uh, the sunset. <laughs> <laughs> so this was when, this was an album that I really, you can see by all my tabs, my post-its, that I really went to town with Peekaboo Pockets. I love, love, love different ways of showing how to use them in here. So as I mentioned, using 6 by 12s on traditional, again, this is traditional scrapbook pages, is a little different than on Peekaboo Pockets. So on a traditional scrapbook page... There's a couple little tricks. I do like to attach them to my page, right? So here's a, a 6 by 12 peekaboo pocket. And look at all the photos I can get of this all on one space, right? Because it gives me space for vertical pictures. It gives me space for horizontal pictures. And... And then it gives me that whole space underneath, half of a page underneath that I can add more photos. So when I'm working on a traditional scrapbook page and I'm using the outside edge of my page, you are not going to get your page protector over it, <laughs> okay, going this way because on a traditional page, I'm going to show you this, hopefully up close. Can you see that? The peekaboo pocket is just a smidge taller than the page. Can you guys see? It's really hard to see. It's just a smidge taller. So um, I actually split the difference from the top and the bottom. Okay, so here on the bottom, you can see right there between my nails right there, that that's the extra that actually is off the scrapbook page. So you have to do a little planning. What I'm saying is if you want it on the outside edge of a traditional scrapbook page and you wanna put a page protector on, like what I realized, I put this on and then I'm like, I am not getting that page protector on because if I open this up, like you are not, you're not going to get that page protector off. You're just not. So I had to undo my um, jeeping of the brackets. And then I put the page protector actually on from this side. Okay. I took the page out of my book. And then I slid the page protector on this way. So it can be done if you put the, the peekaboo pocket on the outside edge or before you get it all done and said, you know, put your page protector on and then you can cut maybe a little angle off of the um, adhesive and get it to stick to your page. But it's a little, what I'm saying is it's a little tricky to put these six by 12s on the outside edge. The inside edge, not a problem because um, I, I have one of those examples. Let me see, where is it? inside edge. Here's an inside edge photo because uh, the page protector goes on this way, right? So once again, like I said, look at all these beautiful sunset pictures. Taking it, you know, as the sky started to get darker, I wanted all of those. I wanted to put them all in my album. So all these beautiful different uh, looks. This was at Grand Canyon of you know, what, what it was like when we were first there, a story that goes along with it. And then, um, on the inside edge, again, same idea. I adhere it down to the actual page, put the page protector on this side, this side, because it, it's, um, opens to the inside. Not a, not a big deal. You don't have to take your book apart. Okay. So, Outside edges, inside edges. All right, so Mona, we're gonna do some more reveling here, okay? <laughs> Not only do you mix um, peekaboo pockets, horizontal, vertical, but let's mix sizes. Let's also have fun with five by sevens and four by six. So this is not only 
a vertical format and a horizontal format, but they are in different orientations. So I have my five by seven peekaboo pocket here and then underneath, so this is a double layer underneath. Remember these gorgeous cards you get from national parks? Um, <laughs> I was like, okay, let's do it. Um, <laughs> you get these fun cards. I wanted to find a way to put these in my album. But I didn't necessarily wanted to put, you know, put it on, you know, as a place where I could have photos. So it worked out perfectly to put it underneath a peekaboo pocket. Gave me another place for a photo here. And guess what? More places for journaling. And another fun technique is when you're adding uh, embellishments or stickers, continue that all the way across. Like is as you open your peekaboo pocket, it looks so intentional and like you plan the whole thing, right? So it's just look at that little tree line sticker that goes across. So fun. Okay, so there's an example of mixing and matching sizes and orientation. So make that note. This one also, not only are we mixing sizes orientation, so this is just again kind of a traditional use of peekaboo pocket just to add more space, more space for photos here. You can see on this one, I just took um, a, a piece of paper and uh, rounded the edge and then used that as a tab. And you can also see, I put tabs at the top, on the side, underneath. It just depends on kind of where I want a little bit of color to go on my page. And then this one, it was so fun, I, I um, had, created this page and then I was going through a last look at all my um, memorabilia and different things I got from the National Park and I found this little sticker that I had bought in a sticker pack and I couldn't find any place to put this sticker and then it occurred to me I could put this in a peekaboo pocket. <laughs> of course, why not? You can put everything in a peekaboo pocket. So what I ended up doing was put this, this interesting um, little uh, information blog about uh, the petrified forest. I cut it down so that it fit in one of those, you know, fun peekaboo pockets we got from different sizes. And then um, on the back, I had another sticker. And then I put that on top. So the adhesive is right here of this uh, U.S. rock state. Um, photo with a peekaboo pocket. So again, a peekaboo pocket on top of a peekaboo pocket. And then I did a sticker down here uh, to again indicate that there's more, more underneath, more to find underneath. Okay, so there's, there's that. And then as I mentioned, rebel, rebel my, rebel me, I wanted to again show you another way because on this page, let me see, this page, the card title was at the top, right? Petrified Forest was here at the top. So I put the five by seven with that peeking out. On this card, the um, title was at the bottom, which worked out perfectly. So then I moved this to underneath my five by seven, but then again, the title could uh, be seen underneath the five by seven here. So again, this is a double layer, five by seven, four by six, once again, gave me a space to create, tell the story and then have another layer underneath, you know, some more memorabilia that I found. Okay, so mix and match, put your rebel on and have some fun. <laughs> okay, um, this is again a, way to show strictly if we just want to load a two-page spread with photos this is a, a layout that has five photos on this side four photos on this side and i would have been done right so if you look at it like that five photos four photos and then i said nope i need more photos because these are just awesome pictures all during the same, you know, time. But look at those awesome faces of my kids, right? We were in the mud playing, having a great time. 
six more photos, six four by six photos I added to this layout because of this one peekaboo pocket. And then on this one, um, just a you know, kind of an FYI, so uh, I wanted these to be tucked under the peekaboo pocket. So this is another way. Again, think of the space. You have six inches underneath your peekaboo pocket. What can you put underneath? So you can do you know, more peek at more photos, but you can also do multiple photos underneath and tell some more of the story. So I love this page. It's just so much fun to look back, <laughs> see their faces there. Okay. Um, let's see on this one. Oh, again, I think here using different, uh, pieces for tabs. And then this is a double stack peekaboo pocket because I wanted here to show you can take kind of, you know how we take the panoramics, like you, you start here and then you start going like this, right? So you could use peekaboo pockets kind of to give that panoramic view of a location that you're doing. So that's kind of what I chose to do inside these peekaboo pockets. And then I still had one more photo I wanted to add in and my journaling. So I just added another layer of peekaboo pockets. So this one, you can hardly tell, but it does have two different layers of peekaboo pockets on top. Okay, one more here um, I wanted to mention. And then um, we're going to shift gears. I'm going to check the chat too. So again, layering uh, two different layers of peekaboo pockets, but on this one, uh, I loved this little out of this world embellishment and um, because it was about Meteor Crater. And I also had this postcard that I, I, I wanted to include in this layout. I didn't want to have it somewhere else in my book. So once again, I just added another layer of peekaboo pockets. So I have the photos and then I have my story and then I have the postcard because I love this view, uh, you know, satellite view of the crater. And then uh, this was another postcard, which just, you know, sometimes you got to get the postcards, right? But then yet another place for photos underneath. And, uh, you know, kind of having this layer gives you that clue that there's more under there to look through. Now here's another thing that I did before we had those brochure pockets. Remember, we just got those brochure pockets, but if you didn't get any, here's another thing you can use peekaboo pockets for. Brochures! <laughs> so this one is actually um, the brochure from Meteor Crater. So I wanted to have this again in the layout so that it was part of this layout. But if you can see, I just put a peekaboo pocket on top of the page protector. So that is adhered to the top. And then I um, put the brochure right in here. So I, I positioned the peekaboo pocket to where the, you know, this, the top of this was on the page. You can kind of, you know, lift it up. And so I decided to put our ticket stubs underneath the brochure and then told a little bit of the story. Okay, so you can use these as pockets also. <laughs> like, you know, have things stick out, that's fine. Especially when the adhesive is underneath and you're not even gonna see it. Okay, so that is the travel. Um, I'm gonna come back to the, the chat and see if I can um, answer any questions from that, but I've gotta reorganize my albums a little bit. Okay, so let's see. Good idea. Okay. Oh, I missed a good idea. So, so, oh, okay. Oh, Mona says, okay. Oh, so we're looking, we're, we, I went back to magnet closures. Um, <laughs> I think, thank you. I, I am the queen of peekaboo pockets. <laughs> <laughs> I do like that. Okay. So, okay. I found where I left off. So, um, adhesive dot card makers on YouTube use really thin magnet closures all the time. That's a really great idea to use with peekaboo pockets. I think we're going to have to try it out. 
Also, Mona says she uses a thin 3 8 inch adhesive Velcro circles to hold her peekaboo pockets closed. Oh, I love both those ideas. You guys, we got to try it. Um, I know, older and taller. I know they get older and taller, Deb. <laughs> okay, and Lori says she just got my tab dies from the shop and will put them to good use. So hopefully, yeah, Lori, I gave you a lot of ideas on how to use those tabs. And... Um, and Kathy said a friend just used the Velcro uh, closures for peekaboo pockets. So it's working, you guys. We're going to have to try that. Okay. And Roxanne's here. Welcome. Um, okay. So I think we're, we're all going to go try magnets and Velcro closures now. <laughs> um, so Melanie was saying she has, when desperate, cut down page protectors to the size and shape. Think triangular countdown for rocket launch. I needed and attached the side of the base page protector with clear packing tape. Okay, I have to wrap my head around that one. <laughs> okay, so do the peekaboo pockets work on other types of scrapbook pages? Yes. And I, and, um, I don't know if this one, uh, I, I'll get to one of my next album is the 12 by 12 pockets, but I did in the beginning of the video show some of those and multi-pocket pages. Okay. Um, so many great ideas. Okay. Awesome. I'm caught up. All right. I just didn't, I, I, I try my best not to miss anybody's question, but sometimes you guys, sometimes it just happens. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, cause uh, you know, you guys are chatty. <laughs> in the chat, but I love it. Okay. So here is, um, we've switched back to a family album. I know I've shared this technique before too, but this is a peekaboo times two where you are actually cutting out a circle so that you can see the picture underneath the peekaboo pocket. So we talked about how to use vellum, but this is also using, um, a peekaboo in a peekaboo peekaboo times two. <laughs> okay. So on this page, I just kind of wanted, um, a little fun element. I, so I took the same size circle and I used, uh, and cut that out so that you could see the photo that I placed right behind there. And, uh, again, kind of telling the story of this day, this was mother's day a few years ago. Then also, um, you can use a peekaboo pocket I'm going to have to get closer for you guys to see this down here. Let me turn it this way. So what I did on this one is I actually put a peekaboo pocket behind this photo. And then because it was really kind of just this fun layout that I had, I wanted the journaling to be tucked behind my photo. So to keep things, you know, where I could slide it in and out easily, I put a peekaboo pocket behind the photo. And then, um, I don't know if you can kind of see, let me see if I can catch the light, but I took my, um, you can either do a thumb notch or take your custom cutting system. And I cut a little thumb tab. Yeah, there we go. Oh, almost had it right there. Do you see that little little thumb tab cut out so that it's easy to grab, um, grab that peekaboo, uh, the journal box behind there with your fingers in that little cutout. And so you can pull that out and read the, um, journaling behind the photo. Okay. So again, another peekaboo for a peekaboo. <laughs> okay. So, all right. Does that make sense? Hopefully. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Um, okay. Hit you guys straight again. A little bit more. There. A little bit more. <laughs> okay. There we go. I think we got the whole album in there now. Okay. So let's uh, see a few more examples here. I know I um, have also previously, I'm pretty sure I previously shared this it could have been on an album share or something but um i i said at the very beginning sometimes what i like using peekaboo pockets for is putting in pictures that i would also see normally would distract detract not distract 
distract and detract from the layout, but yet they're part of the story. So this was um, my daughter's graduation. And so what I ended up doing is I had more photos that I wanted to kind of be just tucked away, um, but they were important to the day and they told uh, parts of what happened during the day during her graduation. And again, you can see over here, I did some shaker, some little stars that kind of move around in the front here. And then, um, oh, sorry guys. <laughs> Let me get back to my overhead. I hit, I hit one of my stream deck buttons. I'll go back. There we go. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. So this one is kind of fun because, let me see, I'm going to try to get a little closer for you. Get it, get it in the right place. Okay. I don't want to hit that button again. Turn it. Okay. So here is another, it's like a little mini album, little mini album. Okay. I'm just going to bring this here. There we go. There we go. Okay. It's like a little mini album within your album. So here I have one, two, three peekaboo pockets all lined up together and stuck down to the page. So when I'm working with multiple peekaboo pockets that I'm going to do like a little deck and a little mini book, I will take those and I think I had one in here, a sample in here, I thought somewhere. Is that it? Maybe I put them somewhere else. But what I will share is, or is that it? No, nope. yes, no, yes. <laughs> I can't find it, I should have had it pulled out. But I will take the peekaboo pockets and like say these, these three I wanna put together. I'm going to go ahead and make my little book and take off all the, the top two adhesives. I'm gonna leave the bottom adhesive. Okay, that's going to stick down to my page, but I'm going to go ahead and pull that adhesive off and kind of line these up and then squeeze this down together so that they're stuck. That way you're not struggling trying to get these to line up once you already have your photos in it. So I hope that makes sense. So if I'm ever making like a little book like this, I go ahead and grab those, pull off the adhesive and then stick them together first and then um, and then have them for my page. So um, you can just make that little book happen. And then on this one, so what you can see is like different parts, uh, different pieces to her graduation story. So I wrote her a little note about what I'll always remember. I took a picture of the food that we ordered in, because this was during the pandemic that she graduated from high school, kind of, uh, you know, how we celebrated. And then um, another story about this photo. And so this is kind of a really good example. If I zoom back out now and show you this layout, like if you're looking at it, <laughs> what does your eye, the first thing your eye goes to? right? Oh, that yellow picture is distracting. It's kind of, you know, it's like, whoa, that is, that is yellow. And it kind of distracts from the whole rest of the layout. But this was a very important part of the day. And sometimes we have photos like that, right? They're distracting, but they are an important part of our story, which this one was, her sister drew this. Um, it's, uh, it was, you know, kids like their avatars. So her sister drew this of her and it has, it's her and her graduation dress and different things. So um, it was an important part of her day. But if you look at the layout like this, right? Much less distracting than that. <laughs> but yet I can, t I can keep that as part of the story and her food pictures, which, you know, Maybe those are not so exciting, right? When you see the food pictures. Uh, but that's now part of that little mini book within the layout. So just think of 
peekaboo pockets that you can use in so, so many different ways. All right, I have a couple more examples here. This again, going back to just a very traditional use, which is photo, photo journaling. That's like your bottom line use of peekaboo po po pockets. Photo, photo journaling. <laughs> you know, then you've got your whole layout, but you can still tell your story because you have underneath the photo for your pictures. That also helps sometimes, you know, I, I won't embarrass, but like my son, he loves his rabbit. Um, but that may not be, you know, what he wants to see on the page. Like that's a little more private. That's a little more private photo. It goes in under the peekaboo pocket. And then here again is just one more uh, example of how to mix and match. This is a four by six with a four by four. So on this one, I had some more photos I wanted to add to this layout, but I didn't want two four by sixes because I only had, I actually had like one photo and then I wanted this little photo of, again, food. I didn't want necessarily, you know, in the big picture, but I wanted to remember what we had ordered. This is again, 2020 pandemic year. <laughs> But um, so we have a picture of my husband with his cake and then a little place to do some decorating again, backside of the four by four and then my journaling. So there is a kind of, again, another flip out with a four by six and a four by four. Okay. How are we doing in the chat? Love the peekaboo mini album. Okay, good. Yes. How can you use the white memory tabs. Oh yeah, absolutely, Rosalind. The new white memory tabs, you can use those. You know, I didn't have them when I was doing a lot of these, but you can definitely use those on your albums um, for, uh, you know, lifting the flaps for sure. Okay. Um, I have a, I, I think we're almost there guys. <laughs> I just want to mention this uh, layout too. Sometimes, uh, you know, we've, we, there's what we call gate folds. You know, I've shown you some of those where you have some together and then they open up and show what's underneath. But you can also do a gate fold on a two page spread. And so for this one, um, this is really kind of, it was more of a decorative thing that I wanted to do for these pages. So, um, I did two six by 12 peekaboo pockets on the outer edges. So let me see if I can get a little higher so you can see this. Two six by 12s that fold out. Okay, so you're still not seeing those, but I'll go one side to the other. So on this side, um, I don't, I, I haven't finished this layout, honestly. So I have some more journaling and I haven't figured out if I have more photos. But I have this whole backside that I could either leave decorative or I could add more photos. And then on this side, um, I had kept a campus map. map. This was the move-in day for my daughter when she started college. And I thought, perfect, the move-in map for uh, her college, I can tuck that in the back of the peekaboo pocket. And then this was some more about moving her into college. So really kind of decorative but another way that you can uh, set up your pages to use peekaboo pockets, but then have a lot of room underneath to do other things with your layout. Okay. I think, I think, I think I went through all my albums that I had here. So, um, yeah, I think that's it. Let me, um, let me go back to the chat and just see if there is, any other questions um, that I can answer? But, oh, here's one more little example. So I know someone asked, can you use peekaboo pockets with other pages? You know, um, this is the multi pocket page. This was one of my favorite little uh, peekaboo pocket additions to it. Again, if you have a four by six, you don't have to use a four by six peekaboo pocket. So on this one, I had a four by six, but I just wanted to use a four by four on top. 
so that gave me a place to put some stickers. I have home up here and then um, another food picture. Are you getting the, the <laughs> idea? I put food pictures on the inside. I don't always want them all in my layouts and then a place to journal, but it gives that um, really fun kind of layering look when you have a one size on top of another size. So that's again using peekaboo pockets with multi-pocket pages. Okay, so we have had a lot of fun, I hope. I hope you've had a lot of fun <laughs> with um, peekaboo pockets. Ta-da! Okay, let me move that out of the way. And peekaboo pockets, yes. Okay, so I hope uh, some of those might be new, but I know some I have already talked about, but like I said, this will be a one-stop resource for you. Although I do have my very first video on Peekaboo Pockets called Tips and Tricks for Peekaboo Pockets, and I don't remember exactly everything I shared in that video, but you can always um, go back and take a look at that one as well. So... Um, took all those food pictures inside. I know sometimes you got to do that, right? I do love my food. I do love my food pictures. <laughs> okay. So, um, all right. Any other last questions before we, uh, wrap up tonight and all in one place? Yes. I never figured there were so many ways to use peekaboo pockets. Yes. There are, there are. And you know what? We even thought of some more ways like using Velcro or magnets. I love those ideas. So we're going to have to come up with some more um, fun and clever ways to use peekaboo pockets and we'll come up with some more. Maybe we'll have to do a volume three, right? <laughs> okay. So um, I think I got everyone's questions. Food pictures, uh, all the different ways. Yes. Okay. Perfect. And Maria said, I'm going to be watching the replay. So welcome. I hope you do that. Um, <laughs> oh, no. Sandy. Yeah. Oh, you guys remembered. <laughs> Are you going to sing? Um, yeah, my birthday is this coming weekend. So thank you for that. Uh, double digits. Five, five. Turning 55. So uh, happy about that. Happy to spend some time with family. And uh, I'll probably be scrapbooking. So Hopefully we can do that. Thank you for the birthday reminder. <laughs> Sue's like, my head's spinning a little bit with all that information. So that's what's great. You can always catch the replay. So thank you all for joining in. Thank you for your sweet birthday wishes and um, <laughs> enjoy your weekend. And as I said, um, look for if you are part of the virtual crop group, I'm hoping to upload my 2022 album this weekend. So I'd love for you to go by and um, leave a comment to that video. That'd be great. Okay, so what's coming up? We've got a pop crop coming up in June the 17th. And that is, uh, I know, I think that's Father's Day weekend, but we can celebrate the day before Father's Day <laughs> and scrap together if you would like to. And if you don't know what Pop Crop is, you can join my Progress on Projects Facebook group. And it's a free group that you can join. And um, we will just have four hours together to scrap. It's very fun. And if you haven't caught my Tidy Up Tuesdays, those are also every Tuesday. Um, you'll either get a replay. Sometimes we're getting to the point of getting, I'm going to need to do some replays on tidy ups. Um, and then otherwise I will share some area that I have organized in my craft room. Oh, and that reminds me the drawers. Remember I said where I keep my peekaboo pockets, they are right here in my drawer. <laughs> so handy. These are my six by twelves, six by twelves and five by sevens right here in this drawer along with my photo folders and my scratch paper. So all right there. Thank you so much. Oh, thanks. Big hugs to everyone. Thank you for the lovely wishes. And uh, we will see you in two weeks for Friday Night Scrapbooking. And until then, I hope you take time to craft some joy. And we'll see you again soon.
Bye for now.